Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back. As you have seen from my title, this video is about Discogs. And last week I was record shopping and um, I witnessed a conversation between a customer and a record shop owner where the customer said, hey, on Discogs this record is 10, 10 euro cheaper, make me a better price. And he said, you're willing to, you're free to buy it from Discogs go ahead, have fun, thanks and goodbye. Because as you said, I have to pay rent, blah, blah, blah. I have these extra costs. I can't do, on many cases, not the prices you get them online. So I'm sorry. And this incident led to a discussion between two customers, myself and the record shop owner about Discogs. And for me, Discogs is um, because one one customer was like Discogs sucks and Discogs is horrible and I only have issues with it and I avoid it and I hate Discogs. So what's Discogs? For me Discogs is a platform like eBay, like Etsy, I think they also do that kind of way where you can offer your product to a large audience and where Discogs is making sure that the whole processing of offering this product up to the way um, till you sold it um, has been maintained and therefore you pay a certain percentage I think nine percent of the uh, amount uh, people of the amount for the record people bought, bought from you so this is my understanding of Discogs also Discogs needs to take care if there are scammers they need to take care of this they need to check, uh, uh, are there hundreds and hundreds of new accounts been opened? Uh, how about the ratings, uh, zero ratings? And what about the pricing? Okay, if there's a $1,000 record, which is now offered for 200, and this person is having no rating in all of this, so they should get suspended. They could bring in an automation to check that. They don't need to do that manually, but they need to check that. So. In my opinion, that's the job of Discogs. It's not Discogs fault. If there are sellers, not all of them, I had very often great experience with Discogs as sellers. And I also got records, which I usually wouldn't have gotten without Discogs. But there are some sellers. Um, so I can say it from my personal experience, which really aren't so so into getting you a great customer experience they're just getting into get that shit done and sell it they're not really taking care if i have a good experience i may buy from them again so i had this experience on numerous occasions so that's why i try to avoid discogs because my main issue with this platform is that some sellers are not willing or able or they can't i don't know to grade a record properly there are standards to grade a record and they're everywhere the same at least to my knowledge if you have a certain kind of grading standard and it's on discogs what kind of standard they're using then there is no doubt so my my experience is this was sold to me as a near mint record cover near mint Record near mint. This is not near mint. This is not even for the dollar bin. It's not. So I had endless discussions with the seller up to the point where he told me that he sent me this record. It was all correct and it was done by uh, doing post. You know, the post made that. And I said, but there are not these papers left somewhere in the package. And these look kind of old. Endless discussions about this. Um, also, um, this is um, a German first pressing of uh, yeah, the Supremes, Mary Cherie and Suze. I ordered a first American pressing. And you can easily identify if you have a German pressing because they have GEMA on the label. So that's very helpful identifier the seller told me well uh, but it's the same record i say yeah but i ordered a u.s first pressing 
yeah, but it's a, it's the same record. It's the same content. Yes, but it's a different pressing. That's why you have these categories like um, uh, Sterling or Monarch. When I order a Monarch pressing, I don't want to have a Sterling pressing. Endless discussions about this. Uh, also, why is it not possible to write down in the description it has a cutout discount mark? What's so difficult about this? I, I don't get it. Or uh, also, this is uh, Discogs. Make it available. I never sold a record on Discogs, so I don't know about the process, but maybe it's possible to make a checkbox. Has this record a discount mark? Yes or no? Click. So then I know. Hmm. My main issue is why can't I get pictures of the product I'm buying? And that's also what I told the record store owner. If I had a picture of this, it would have saved me a lot of trouble. It would have saved the seller a lot of trouble. Yes, he wouldn't have sold it, but uh, in the end, <laughs> I still had to pay one euro for this. Perfect. But that's a whole different story. But it would have saved a lot of trouble. And I think it would have saved a lot of trouble for other people. And all the two customers were with me saying, yeah, that would be a fantastic idea to finally have, like eBay, the possibility to see the product I'm buying. And then the record seller said uh, something which I never thought about. He said, I don't want that feature. I would hate to have that feature because when I have it, I have to use it because people like you now expecting me to use it. The reason why I hate this is you can see I have piles and piles of records. I have to put, bring them into the system. I have to manage my customers. I have to take care of the store and everything. I just don't have the capacity to um, get 100 records, um, grade them, take pictures front, back, also record front, back. And if you have gave, I don't have the capacity. So if I have to do that, I have to hire someone to do that for me. And then when I have to hire someone, the pricing of the records are getting higher and higher and higher. So that's not working for me. And that's why I hate to have this, uh, this function. And I said, okay, what would be your consequences if the function would come? And he said, I would um, put on less records on Discogs and therefore would sell less records on Discogs. And maybe that's why Discogs is not implanting it because they think, okay, then we get less money. That was his opinion. I don't know, but that's very logical to me. But I told him, well, if you have pictures from the products and I see that your grading is good, you have me as a constant customer. I'm buying more from you. If I know, okay, this is what I get and perfect and it works and you have a great communication and your return policy is great. So I see it from a different perspective, but I also get it if he and also many other record uh, shop owners or dealers, they just don't have the time and the capacity to do it. So I totally get that, but it would save a lot of trouble and I would have a great customer experience and it can't be a technical problem because you can render server where you can put on the pictures, you can compress them. So technical, this is not an issue. And, um, yeah, Discogs, another thing. And this is also where I see your responsibility. You can't, it's not your fault that there are sellers out there who can't grade, who don't have a great communication, who are taking like three, four, five weeks before they ship things. And then they say, I, yes, it's tracked. And then it's not tracked and comes up and they use shitty mailers. It's not your fault. but. What would be great if um, one of the main reasons people are complaining about your company is the grading. Why not doing this? If someone sold 100 records and you have 10 negative feedbacks and eight from these negative feedbacks are about bad grading, why not putting a sign next to the cell and listen, there are some grading issues, be careful. And then I can decide as a seller and ask them, okay, hey, listen, can I have pictures of the records? We are all humans. We make mistakes. So if you have one, twice or three times a bad feedback because of grading, this can happen. But from 10 
uh, negative feedbacks eight who have a grading issue, then we need to have a look at this. And then I can, so I know that and I can get in touch with the son say, can, could you please send me pictures and everything? So I'm, I'm sure that I'm getting what you are, what you are advertising. So this would, and if the seller is not having the sign, so I can be more trustful in buying and not requesting pictures every time, which is also work for the, for the seller. But these are just my two cents about this. So what's your opinion about it? Still, I'm not in the opinion that this cock sucks. I don't hate it, um, but it has some, some issues lately, especially for me with the grading. Um, I know for some friends that they have some grading issues with Discogs. I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's actually one of the main reasons I'm avoiding it. And yes, the website is uh, like it's been, I'm, I'm for Discogs, at Discogs now for 10, 12, 13 years. And the website still looks the same, needs some facelift, some improvements. I do get that, but I also get that I'm as a buyer using Discogs for free. So I have my collection in Discogs, if I update it regularly, which I haven't been done doing lately, um, so I can export my, uh, my collection, all of this. I can do that for free and I'm thankful for this. But um, some things need to, to change, especially with the functionality. And also the, the app is sometimes a pain in the ass. It's, for me, it's crashing very often and the search engine is horrible. If I put something in the search engine from Google and I get some, um, so it tells me, okay, are you looking for this, this, and this? I put it in. On Discogs, if you type something in and you have a mixed up with a letter, it's not finding it. Yes, could be better, but I'm thankful that there is Discogs. Honestly, I'm thankful that it there is, but um, I think sellers, not all of them, but some sellers really need to think about the customer experience because if I have a great customer experience with you, I tend to buy more records from you and I won't be buying again if I get this or have endless discussions because of I'm getting the wrong pressing or I'm not so happy that I got it cut out, which I didn't know about. I could go on and on and this, this would really be, be helpful. So, um, yeah, this is my take on, on Discogs. I really had to think about this, especially after the, after the con con conversation I was having in, in the record store. I get all sides and uh, I'm sure most of the record sellers are great on Discogs. Like I said, I had also great experience with sellers, but on some of them, it's supposed to like just to get rid of this shit. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so that was my short take on Discogs. I would love to hear your opinion about it. What kind of issues do you have? And um, now Discogs, I think, is having a new CEO. What are your expectations for this? Or do you have any kind of expectations? Or are you happy with Discogs? Did you never had any bad experience with Discogs? I would love to know that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.